What is going on Yu-Gi-Oh! community? YJ Paladin back here with another vlog video and today we are going to be heading over to Paladins to play in the tournament. I did make some changes to my deck since the last time I actually did a vlog video so I have done different variations of the deck so it kind of evolved over time. Uh, I just did not have it uh, recorded. I did put in the uh, Dark Angel like a few weeks ago. That card ended up working very well for me. But I wanted to change the ratios of the hand traps I had. So instead of having three Ash Blossoms and three Infinite Impermanence, I now have two Ash Blossoms in the deck. Shout outs to Danny for letting me borrow those, man. I appreciate it. And I have two Ghost Stokers and two uh, Infinite Impermanence in the main deck now. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to have like ratios of two of each hand trap. I wanted to put it in two Effect Veilers, but we couldn't really find a way to fit those in. I'm trying to work this deck out a little bit like... Uh, testing this version of the deck today so if i like it i'll probably keep it like that but if i don't then i'll probably go back to doing like three hand traps of each i'm sorry three three of each hand trap and then uh yeah we'll just have to wait and see and uh sorry that i'm actually holding this camera right now i actually overslept a little bit so i, I gotta quickly get ready uh, and uh head over to paladin so uh that is uh why i'm a little bit uh trying to speed up this little intro here so uh Enough of that, let me go ahead and get ready so I can uh, head out to Paladins and uh, hopefully hopefully we'll have a good turnout. We'll, we'll have a good turnout. So it's gonna be a fun day regardless. So let's get over there. Cause we were looking for it all morning. <laughs> it was happening everywhere. So we just finished up round one. I went against my buddy Pancho with his lovable burning abyss deck. And I go first thinking that I could try to do some type of like lock. I went into the dark angel lock. I think it because uh, my opponent has Burning Abyss, so I figured I could put a monster on his field and then it could destroy his monsters. That did not work because he had Forbidden Droplets, so he sent that Dark Angel for cost, and it does work that way. And uh, from there, he just continued to wreck me because I activated a Hero Live, so that halved my life points to 4,000. So he was trying to set up for 8,000 damage because he knows he can do it, but uh, he was working really hard and realized that, yeah, I have 4,000 life points, bro. And so he got game one. So when we went into game two, I side decked in a lot of cards, going second cards like Dark Rule of the More, Evenly Match, and Lava Golem. I didn't see shit. <laughs> I did not see a single one of those cards. And uh, I, I let him go first. He sets up a board with Baguska, which is my worst enemy ever. And um, I couldn't do anything. I went into uh, DPE with Destiny Fusion. I set up a little bit of a wall. Didn't amount to anything because he ended up linking that off to go into the Underworld Goddess monster. And... Uh, it was rough. It was just attacking me and went to 3000. And then I drew a card. He still has Baguska on the field. I couldn't get over that thing. So he ultimately got the win. So sadly, we did not get round one. So my opponent uh, beat me. He, he went 2-0 uh, in that round. So that brings my record to X1, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I, was, I was a little bummed about that one. But you know, we'll just have to figure out another way to beat Poncho's deck. So uh, let's get back in there and go for round two, hopefully feeling a little bit better. And I'm kind of debating with the Dark Angel. Uh, do I want to keep it in the main deck or do I want to take it out now? It doesn't always work, but I'll just have to find out as the uh, rounds progress. So uh, let's get back in there and head in for round two. And we are back. We just finished up round two. Uh, I went against Dark Magician and I went my opponent go first. He summons out the Magician's Rod to search out a uh, Dark Magic Circle. He activates Dark Magic Circle. I believe he adds uh, Eternal Souls. Yeah, I believe he adds Eternal Souls to his hand. And then uh, he sets Eternal Souls and then he passes. So then when it begins my turn, I have an OTK set up. I go into my plays. He does activate the Eternal Souls, but he does not special summon it. So I was like, okay, cool. I had Ghost Ogre in my hand, so I can wait until he actually uses the effect of that. So when I try to go into my Ferris play, where I discard the special summon of Ferris, he chains the Eternal Soul to special summon Dark Magician. And right there, I use the um, Ghost Ogre to destroy Eternal Souls. So that destroyed it, and because uh, Eternal Souls was destroyed, I destroyed uh, all of his monsters, which was just Magician's Rod. So that worked out very well. And I proceeded to go with my OTK board, where I just stacked up on damage. I had the uh, Dread Decimator, I had uh, Malicious Bane, and I also had, I believe, Sunrise on my field. So that was just more than 8,000 damage right there. So then we'll go into game two. My opponent makes me go first, and I sided in Twin Twisters to try to pop a Dark Magical Circle and uh, Magician Souls, or I'm sorry, Magician Souls, um, Eternal Souls should he go into it so then um he 
makes me go first. I set up my DPE Sunrise and a uh, Plasma, a Destiny Hero Plasma, and I had two mass changes, which I actually drew both from Liquid Soldier's effects, so that's actually pretty funny. And so I set those two on the field, and then my opponent goes, uh, goes, it's his turn. He sets two cards and he passes. So I used DPE's effect to destroy one of his back rows, and then that became, a, I can't remember what the trap of that one is. It's a Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl card. So I destroy that. And then I proceeded to just go for the OTK. I had the damage there. He did activate Spear Karibu's effect in his hand to switch my Sunrise to Defense Mode. But thankfully, I had uh, match changes on my field. So I was just able to go to match change and just attack him for over 8,000 damage. So it worked out very well. I am loving what I could do with the OTK boards. And I... Um, feeling pretty good after that first round defeat so we are now x uh, we're now one and one actually so we're just gonna say it instead of x1 uh we are one and one for round two and uh looking pretty good i am enjoying it i'm having fun and uh yeah i am liking the changes i did with the main deck i did i did do the uh two hand traps each so i had two ghost ogres two ashes and two imperm funny enough i haven't seen impermanence at all yet so uh i'm kind of liking it so we'll just have to see how that goes and maybe i was going to add two effect veilers in there by cutting two more cards because i want to keep it at 40 but uh right now so far so good so we're gonna get back in there maybe do some trading we got a lot of time so we'll see if we can do some trades and maybe check out some of the other matches and i gotta hit my boy up aaron because he's got a lot of neos cards that i really want to pick up so uh yeah enough of that let's get back in there <laughs> I'm so debating between these two. Which one? The Oasis. Oh, true. If you want to see anything, you just pull it out. I don't, I don't. Since I'm doing that, I already did that. <laughs> so you don't have to keep going back and forth. We just concluded round three. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we're definitely going to talk about this one. So I went against a mirror match with heroes. My opponent goes first. He's summoned out of his board. He's setting it up. Then I look at my hand. I'm like... I only have a normal summon Stratos as a play. That is all I have. And so I have to top deck something good to go into. Uh, so he sets up his board. And then when I go to my turn, I have Stratos. I normal summon it, activate its effect. He forbidden droplets it. And I'm just like, ooh. So I just tried to attack into his uh, Wander Driver because I have Honest Neos in my hand. He activates Mass Change to send his Absolute Zero to the graveyard so he can destroy my monsters and summon out Acid yeah then i had to uh, i had to pass from there and my opponent just <laughs> proceeded to otk me that turn i was like yeah you got this one so uh then when we went to game two i decided to go first i pulled the worst hand that you can have for heroes and that is having your one increase in your hand and i side decked out the other one so that is why i had only one one increase in my deck and i freaking opened with it and a ferris so that was like insult to injury right there Oh, it, it was horrible. It was horrible. I only ended with Cross Crusader and the uh, Malicious Bane. So my opponent goes goes on his turn. He summons out his own Malicious Bane. He has uh, another Forbidden Droplet, so he negates all my monster's effects. So my Bane is going to get destroyed, and he just goes off. He proceeds to do an OTK board, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, this is a... Uh... This is not gonna. This is not gonna end well, is it? So yeah, he just proceeds to just kill me, and I. I, I lost the mirror match to heroes and it's really awesome though seeing another hero player because that's like a rare commodity around here I think I only ever went against one other hero player But he wasn't playing the vision hero package or the evil hero So it was more like a pure elemental hero version destiny hero version and I yeah, I do wish we could have done a little bit better But my hand my deck just decided not to work for round three and I was just like, oh That was bad. So Sadly, we couldn't do that, but we couldn't get the win, but I had a fun round. I mean, again, against heroes, that would have been insane if one of us actually got super polymerization and we just used our entire opponent's field to go into like Vision Hero, Adoration, or Trinity, or whoever plays what, or go into DPE or something. That would have been really cool interaction, but that did not happen. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. So I don't know if there's going to be another round after this. We're going to get back in there and check it out because for the last few weeks, it's only been three rounds because not too many players showed up, but I think there's a good number here. So maybe there'll be a round four so we'll get back in there we'll check it out and uh if not um my, my record was one two if, if if we don't have another round so we'll have to wait and see and check it out so uh yeah let's get, let's get back in there it's actually really hot out here <laughs> Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 there's not any, no. all right, there's not any, 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 there's not
So no, I think you learned here. You're so free. And we're back here at home. The tournament ended up only having three rounds. I did do my afterthoughts as soon as the tournament was over, but the audio was a little bit messed up, so I'm re-recording this segment now at home. So uh, that's why the scenery changed here. But anyways, uh, my thoughts on the tournament, it worked out pretty well. Now, of course, we did not do so well. We only got one win and two losses, but I had a better insight of what I liked about my deck because of the hand traps. Now, when I first originally built my deck last night, or well, actually it was like two days, no, last night, yeah, I was uh, thinking about it that I run three Ash Blossoms and three Imperms, but I wanted to change that up. So I cut it to two Ashes, two Ghost Ogres, and two Imperms. I like that variety of hand traps and it worked out for the best, honestly. I did like that a little bit more, but I am considering running maybe two more hand traps. Well, I'm sorry, one more hand trap, two copies of Effect Veiler. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure yet, but um, it's something I might want to try to do. And I don't know if I'm going to keep the evil heroes in my deck. Now, I absolutely love those cards, but I always end up side decking them out. And I just like, I don't know if I want to keep them in the main deck or could I take those out to put in something a little bit more useful. I don't want to say not useful because that card is amazing. I do like it, but I've been seeing a lot of decks cutting it. They even cut Honest Neo, so I'm a little surprised about that one because I feel like that'll be getting over an access code talker. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know about that one. I might want to keep that one in the deck, but if I did cut the evil heroes, I might want to try to cut one more card so I can maybe run three super polys and change the um, Malicious Bane in my extra deck to the Garuda, the Resident, the one that just came out in the uh, Powers of the Elements, the one that I pulled in my last box. Um, maybe I'll run that one in my extra deck because I can. I could have used that for the heroes. I could have used that for the Burning Abyss matchup. I could have used it for any other potential matchups, like maybe Marincess or Tri-Brigade because Tri-Brigade is still going on at our locals. There is another player that's using it. And heck, maybe it'll go against Sprite. I don't know. There's like some potential, but this is like in theory, you know, this is just like in theory it works, but we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. But yeah, it was a really good experience. I did like it. Maybe I'll change the deck up for next time. I'll oh, speaking of which I will not be going to locals next week because I have another event to go to. So I won't be going to locals for at least two weeks. So um, there's not going to be a vlog video, but I am happy to do this one. And I am hoping the editing doesn't take as long for this one because it really did for the premiere event. And I do apologize. I know I literally just dropped that video this morning at the time of recording this part of the video and uh it's it, it took a week to do that I, it was just insane so hopefully this video will get up a lot sooner i'm hoping to like wrap it up maybe by tomorrow and then i can upload it on monday i'm hoping but we'll just have to wait and see but uh we did do well with trading though i did like that we did pick up a lot of cool cards from our buddy Aaron and we did walk out with five of the Elements of Heroes Shiny Neo Swingman. Like I said, I actually want to build a page of this or maybe even more. I would have done it for instant contact till I realized that card is like almost eight bucks and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that because it's like 40 bucks for five of them all, all the way. So uh, that'd be like, what, maybe $82 for like nine of them? I don't know. But um, I am, <laughs> I'm gonna collect as many Shiny Neos we as possible. So uh, it, was, it was a fun day overall. And I am looking to build a Neos deck for fun. And I am gonna be going to, uh, a, well, at, at right now, it's more than likely we are gonna be going to Frank and Sons in LA and uh, maybe pick up some Neos cards over there. I might wanna try to do like a little video of me just going around. Now it's actually more like business than it is pleasure, but I mean, if I buy some cards for myself, then, you know, that, that, that's pleasure enough. Or some Funko Pops that I like to add to my wall back here of ever-growing Funko Pops. Like, I really need to organize, like, these that are standing right here. Anyways, that's not important right now. So, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know. If I do a video like that, cool. If not, you know, it's it, it's kind of out of my comfort zone of, like, recording at locals versus recording at a big store like that. If you guys know what Frank and Sons is, uh, you, you get it. But if you guys don't, it's a big collectible like warehouse well it's not a warehouse anymore but it's it's its own building that has a bunch of vendors over there that have sells uh, whether it is like Yu-Gi-Oh cards magic cards pokemon and not even just cards uh they also sell like funko pops toys like any memorabilia and stuff like that so it's a really cool place but uh 
I don't know, maybe I'll try to record. But anyways, I'm gonna give this video a lot longer than it needs to be. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the content. Be sure, sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss that. And um, let me know what you guys think about me building a Neos deck for fun. I would be happy to take one over there to Locos as long as I can complete a deck. I got some cards in mind to build the deck, but it's like... I, I don't like playing it online, so I'd rather play it in person. I'm, I'm kind of one of those players, you know? Like, I'd rather test it in person to see how it works rather than doing it online, you know what I mean? It's just like a better way of actually truly test playing a deck. So I might try to get those if I can pick some up. Uh, Frank sounds like a Neos Fusion spell cards or uh, Rainbow Neos. I'll probably just have to get like the cheap stuff just so I can actually build a deck and take it to locals the next week. So uh, like I said, the 20th is when I'm going to be going back to locals. So I'll, I'll probably be doing a video afterwards in like two weeks uh, for a local vlog video. And um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next video.